Here we have the SO2 window and door contact. As you can see, the bigger part here is the transmitter, and the smaller part of my right hand is the magnet. <clears throat> All of the transmitters are numbered on the sticker on the back. It doesn't matter which magnet they go with as these are all the same. When you put it up on your window or door, you want to make sure the magnet is on the side with the two LED lights. So whenever they break apart, that light comes on and flashes. The bottom LED light will come on solid when the battery is low, letting you know to change it. <clears throat> so again, do not put the magnet on the antenna side, um, perpendicular to the, to the unit. It has to be parallel and on the side with the two LED lights. It doesn't matter which way they go up on the door or window. You can have them vertical, horizontal, antenna downward. Again, just as long as that magnet is on the LED side, and as you see, is once it gets about a half inch away, that red light will flash. <clears throat> on the back here, you'll see a little slot. That is for accessing the computer board and battery. So if you pop it open there, you see the 23A battery in the bottom. Again, they should last upwards of two years. Changing the battery, just pop it out, put in your new 23A battery, and again, this guy slaps right back on. Once you actually have it installed, the double back adhesive will be holding this part to the wall or the door frame. And so you can actually just use a butter knife or a screwdriver and pop open the front part and this will actually stay secure to the wall so you'll never have to change that double back tape. And that is the SO2 window and door contact.